Australian golfers have always punched above their class. Our small nation continues to produce an inevitable crop of talent that inspires and entertains Australians to play our great game. From Peter Thompson to Kari Webb, Kel Nagel to Adam Scott, there's always an Aussie contesting for a coveted crown on any international tour. While 2020 disrupted tournament golf across the world, we were still fortunate enough to see some of our leading stars do us proud. Tonight, we will award the Greg Norman Medal, Australia's highest individual honor for the best performing male or female golfer on the world stage. Our nominees, Cameron Smith, Adam Scott, and Minji Lee all excelled and provided us with glorious memories in major tournaments and in preeminent competitions in the USA. But before that, we will celebrate the achievements of the PGA of Australia's vocational membership, the PGA Professional. They are the heartbeat of the industry and are the leading experts in golf. Tonight, we announce the national winners for golf club management, game development, and coaching, as well as club professional and trainee of the year awards. Behind every great golfer, there's a PGA professional. Tonight's for those that make our great game special. It is my great honor to welcome you to the 2020 Greg Norman Medal. Ladies and gentlemen, what a privilege it is to be here with you at tonight's Greg Norman Medal, where we celebrate the success of the PGA club professionals and tournament players that make up our great PGA of Australia. We would love to have brought you a traditional in-person ceremony, but like all challenges presented by the COVID pandemic, we've been forced to adapt what a challenging 12 months it has been for everyone. We've all endured hardship and been forced to make radical changes to how we work, live and even interact with loved ones and family. But uniquely COVID-19 has saw an influx of golfers to your golf clubs and facilities. As chair of the PGA, I've been extremely proud of how the PGA members have persevered during this incredibly difficult period and continue to be custodians of this great sport. At grassroots level, our sport is booming and PGA professionals have led the rejuvenation of our sport that has seen new and returning golfers re-engage in golf. PGA professionals have been pivotal to this resurgence and remain an invaluable component to the Australian and global golf industry. Tonight the Greg Norman Medal is a celebration of the achievements of all our PGA professionals. Enjoy it as we toast what has been one of the most challenging years in our association's history. To start proceedings, it's my pleasure to introduce our host for the evening and fellow PGA professional, Annabelle Rowley. Thank you, Roger, and good evening, everyone. It's a privilege to be with you at the Kalara Golf Club in Sydney to be your host of the 2020 Greg Norman Medal. It's the sixth running of this prestigious award where we acknowledge the most outstanding male or female professional golfer and celebrate the most distinguished PGA professionals. For the top honour, we have three nominees. Adam Scott, a two-time winner on the PGA Tour in 2020. Cameron Smith, the winner of the Sony Open and a tied for second at the 2020 Masters.
Min Ji Lee, who secured a victory on the LPGA Tour and catapulted to number five in the world. A selection panel made up of some of our most respected figures, including Roger Davis, Ian Baker Finch, Peter Senior, Carrie Webb, and WPGA Tour of Australasia President Julia Boland, have the almighty task of determining who wins Aussie Golf's Pinnacle Award. Tonight's awards are proudly sponsored by Gowgate's Insurance. Anthony Gowgates and his team have been placing insurance for the PGA and PGA members for over 50 years, making Gowgates Insurance the PGA of Australia's longest business partner. The nominees for the upcoming four categories were awarded the title of PGA professional in each stream in their state. Being crowned the national award winner will win the PGA professional a $3,000 cash prize to further themselves in their career proudly provided by Gowgates Insurance. Thank you, Anthony and the Gowgates team for your generosity. Tonight's first award is the 2020 National Management Professional of the Year, which recognises a PGA professional who has excelled in a management role at a golf club or facility and demonstrated strong leadership, innovation, strategic planning, marketing and promotion. To announce this year's winner, it's my pleasure to welcome the 2019 recipient, Darren Richards. Winning the 2019 PGA National Management of the Year Award was a great acknowledgement of where I've come in my career. Being able to stand up there and be acknowledged by my peers as doing a great job meant a lot to me as a PGA member. The nominees for the 2020 PGA National Management Professional of the Year are Josh Madden, General Manager, Wembley Golf Course. Nigel Gibson, General Manager, Manly Golf Club. Hayden Thompson, General Manager, Deep Creek Golf Club. Jamie Clutterham, Head Professional, North Adelaide Golf Course. Tim Porter, General Manager, Golf Operations, Victoria Park Golf Complex. And the winner is Josh Madden. It's a huge honour, I guess. I, I um, certainly wasn't expecting it, but uh, it means a lot. It's, it's recognised or recognition from our peers. So yeah, feel, feel fantastic to have uh, gotten this far and, and uh, yeah, won the national award. I guess I'm, I'm lucky certainly in terms of Wembley Golf Course is a fantastic facility. So uh, I wouldn't say that this award, even though the recognition is 2020, um, it's actually the three years prior, I guess, sort of setting the groundwork and the, and the framework to get to this point, uh, to continue to improve and do all the little things right. That's, that's what the team has delivered on. And uh, it's coming to fruition and, and we're continuing to get better in, across all of our departments. Oh, I get to work out here. Um, that's an easy one. I'm at a golf course. I get to uh, give back to a game that I love and uh, that's afforded me a fantastic career in golf. So uh, yeah, I enjoy coming to work every day. It means a lot. It's, it's, a, it's a huge honour to be recognised by your peers. Um, I guess I'm just thankful to be able to you know, do something that I love and, and uh, be recognised for it and to be able to give back to the game. That's a big one. I just wanted to say a huge thank you first to my family for putting up with me and the hours that we put in at the golf course. Uh, I couldn't have won this award without the fantastic team here at Wembley Golf Course. The, Pro shop team, driving range, buggy room, the green keepers who do an outstanding job. Without them, uh, this is impossible. So it's their hard work at the grassroots um, that makes the strategy work. So I wanted to say a huge thank you to the team here. Uh, to the town of Cambridge who have developed the Wembley Golf Course, their belief in me, uh, you know, it's, it's a privilege to work here every day and, and um, yeah, I wouldn't change anything. Thanks very much. Congratulations, Josh, a well-deserved winner. And congratulations to all the nominees. You've all been terrific ambassadors for our game. It's now time to present the 2020 National Game Development Professional of the Year, which is awarded to the PGA professional who has contributed strongly to the industry through grassroots development programs such as My Golf inclusion programs and community engagement. To do the honours, here's the 2019 winner, Lachlan Fulsham. 
I know personally the other guys I was up against, I've worked with a lot of them and there's a lot of great guys doing a lot of great work in that space in the country. Um, so to be recognised amongst the other PGA members that I was up against was a real honour. And then to win the award um, was a bit of a shock. It solidified the hard work that um, I'd been doing with Empower Golf. It was a tremendous achievement for us as a team back then. You don't actually have to win the award to get that satisfaction. I certainly was just happy to be there on the night and the win was just an added bonus. Yeah, certainly to win your state award and be recognised by your peers and then go on to the Greg Norman medal is something that they can't take away from you and you should be very proud of. The nominees for the PGA National Game Development Award of 2020 are Warren Moses, Nelson Bay Golf Club Sandy Jamison, Oakley Golf Course Simon McWhirter, North Adelaide Golf Course Mark Tibbles, The Vines Resort and Country Club Mick Manane, Bundaberg Golf Club. And Adam Holden, Tasmania Golf Club. And the winner is... Mark Tibbles, the Vines Resort and Country Club. Winning this award is, is the um, pinnacle of my career. Um, I've been a member of the Australian PGA, this is my 30th year and I've been a golf professional for 43 years and so to be nominated uh, and win an award nationally that's just you know, a thrill for me. No look, you don't never expect to win an award, um, obviously it's lovely when you do but we don't do these things to win awards but uh, just to simply be nominated and knowing um, the quality of the people that are out there doing great work in game development, um, just to be nominated is an absolute honour. I think um, the broadness of our golf programs contributed to this award. Um, we cater for people of all ages and abilities. Our women's program has seen tremendous growth in female participation um, and membership growth. We've also got a junior program and devoted nearly 500 hours this year to the juniors. And we have a program called Ready Steady Golf for people with special needs and we conducted 160 clinics this year. For me, doing what I do, the most important, well, the most enjoyable thing, I guess, is actually seeing people enjoy themselves. Um, we've got students, many of which are intellectually, physically and emotionally challenged. So to seeing them have a go at something they might never have thought they could do, to see them grow in confidence and, and to know that golf can put smiles on people's faces, that for me is a great thing. I'd just like to thank uh, Moston Farmer, fellow PGA professional, for nominating me. Um, Rob Farley, the WA PGA Committee and everyone in the PGA office, Brock, Amy, David, Kim Felton for his support over the years. I'd like to thank um, the WA Golf Industry Council, Gary Thomas and the WA Golf Foundation for supporting our programs. They wouldn't be the same without their help. Um, thanks to the management and staff at the Vines Resort, in particular Wayne Smith and the golf team, um, members and committee of the Vines Golf and Country Club, to my team at the MTI Golf Academy, to John and Yvonne for supporting our Ready Steady Golf program, and most of all to Anna Maria England, our community instructor, for being with me on all programs and making my life a whole lot easier. Thanks also, of course, to my family and my daughter Gemma, my mum and dad and daughter Gemma for their help and support over the years. Thank you so much. Well done, Mark. You continue to be a leader in providing opportunities for everyone to benefit from golf. Congratulations. 2020 forced all of us to innovate. While we had limited physical access to friends, family and loved ones, we all adapted by connecting with each other virtually, much like what we're doing tonight. The same goes for golf. While we were unable to watch many of our stars tiered up at our feature tour events last year, we got a different level of access to our prominent golfers, thanks to technology. Adam Scott led the charge with his innovative Instagram live stream with PGA professional Wayne Persky at Mullaney Golf Club in Queensland. Nine Holes with a Mate was a hit and gave fans intimate access to one of the world's greatest golfers. Here's Wayne Persky who tells us how this wonderful opportunity with the former world number one came about. 
Good morning everyone. Welcome to Nine Holes with a Mate at Mullaney Golf Club. We're going to play a friendly match with Wayne Persky who's here with me this morning. Oh, look, Nine Holes with a Mate changed the game for Mullaney Golf Club. It was fantastic to have Adam to come up to the hinterland and, and have a game. It really gave our course the credibility that it deserves. Um, we've got a fantastic golf course here and um, for Adam to come and shine a light on it was just amazing. He goes all right, yeah, yeah. This old broken down pro routine doesn't work, doesn't <laughs> sit good with me. I've been hassling him for, to, for him to come up here and have a game on our golf course. And with the COVID uh, break during the PGA Tour, he had plenty of time on his hands and he came up here to have a game and just fell in love with the place. We used all of the guidelines that were recommended and, uh, and we got it done at a time when, uh, when it was really hard to get things like that done. Half five, this is where I attack. It was amazing to see Adam go out there and tear the course apart. Um, it's a testing little golf course and as I said before, he, he enjoys the strategy and he enjoys the philosophy that we have here. But uh, seeing him bomb some, some big drives and hold some nice putts was, uh, was amazing. He set the course record of 62 here. This course is about growing the game and the way that we move into the future. Green fees for juniors here are $5. Yeah, that was the purpose of, of Adam coming here, basically, was to, to try and encourage junior golf and our philosophy of having juniors play for $5. And we have had kids coming to play and kids all around the Sunshine Coast have been playing and lots of other golf clubs have taken up the same, same deal. So we're all about promoting golf and, you know, he's done just that, so fantastic stuff. How good was that? Thank you, Wayne and Adam. That was brilliant. Before we announce the 2020 PGA National Coach of the Year, it's fitting we celebrate what our tour professionals have achieved on some of Australia's and the world's biggest stages. Enjoy the best of 2020 that saw maiden victories, unearthed new stars of the game, and reminded us why we love the game of golf so much. Well done to all those that competed this year and good luck for the season ahead. The PGA National Coach of the Year takes into account achievements as a PGA coach in the area of elite amateur and professional coaching, both on domestic and international professional golf tours and events. It's my pleasure to introduce Khan Pullen, the 2018 PGA National Coach of the Year, to present the 2020 award. On the night, I uh, was Great to be obviously given an award that has Greg Norman's name on it, a legend of Australian golf and done so much for Australian golf and for my name to be uh, alongside that with winning the medal for coaching that year was, uh, yeah, it was fantastic for me, great on the resume and um, oh, look I just think it's great to be recognised by your peers to win something like that, it's elected by your peers, um, you know again it looks great on the resume and great for business when you're doing that sort of stuff but I don't think it's, uh, the guys 
when you're doing that sort of job, you're doing it for the love of it and you're not necessarily doing it directly for the recognition, but it certainly does help, that's for sure. And the nominees for the 2020 PGA National Coach of the Year Award are Charles Carez, teaching professional, the Lakes Golf Club, Tim Wood, teaching professional, Rosanna Golf Club, Richie Smith, teaching professional, Royal Fremantle Golf Club, Daniel Blackwell, teaching professional, Kuyonga Golf Club, Richard Woodhouse, Director of Instruction, KDV Sport Academy of Golf, and Aidan Withers, Head Professional, Seabrook Golf Club. And the winner is... Richard Woodhouse, Director of Instruction, KDV Sport Academy of Golf. It means a lot to be awarded Coach of the Year. Um, ultimately, we don't ever do this job for the accolades or for the awards. We do it really because we love seeing players develop and getting the players to perform at the absolute highest level uh, brings nothing but joy to a coach. So the hours of work that goes in behind the scenes, working with the players, working with the parents, the service providers, to see the results come on the board and then ultimately to be recognised as Coach of the Year means a lot to myself and to all of the players they get the opportunity to work with as well. Expectations on awards isn't something that's high on my radar, but uh, I knew the players had a fantastic year. A lot of them played really well. We had several tournament wins, both internationally and domestically, um, on the amateur level and on the professional level. And then on the coach development side of things, being having the opportunity to present seminars to the likes of the Germany PGA, New Zealand, Australian PGAs, uh, and that coach development space prompted me probably to being able to get this award. And uh, I guess with, with doing those things, then ultimately, uh, yeah, I mean, it was a little bit of a surprise, but a pleasant surprise that to be. Firstly, I'd like to sincerely thank my wife, Alison, and my family for the ongoing support. Early starts, late finishes, so that, that means the world to me for their support. KDV Sport, the facility, it's a wonderful place to come to work every day. The PGA, Golf Australia, thank you very much for your ongoing support. And of course, Titleist Footjoy for the support for not only myself, but also all of the other players that I get the opportunity to work with as well. Brilliant effort, Richard. It's the second time he's won this award. You continue to lead by example at KDV Sport at Carrara and are an inspiration to your association. Earlier this year, the PGA and the WPGA Tour of Australasia launched the Players Series, a world first collection of events that sees men and women compete in the same field playing off scaled tees for the same prize purse, with elite amateurs and juniors playing alongside their heroes. The inaugural event was held at Rosebud Country Club, what a monumental feat to create a new and innovative series at a time when other sports were hesitant to grow. This is how the historic week unfolded. The Player Series uh, is an innovative tournament golf for everyone. When I say everyone, it's for women professional, men professionals, elite amateurs and juniors. So it's a, an exciting event and it's about the future of golf here in Australia. The Player Series is an exciting new concept that's been developed um, with, between the PGA and ourselves. It was a, an idea that Kim Felsing originally came up with a couple of years ago and, and now we are here this week and it's all come to fruition. Professional golfers in Australia, we've always um, played well above our weight as far as per capita and we've always produced champions, but now we've got to do it different. We're competing against collegiate golf in America and great golfing countries all around the world like Korea. What are we going to do here in Australia to continue to produce champions? And this is what the Player Series is all about. It's harnessing the young talent, introducing them to the talented PGA professionals, both women and men, and bringing all that experience together to get our young men and women ready to launch their careers onto the world stage. You can see uh, the nerves on some of the juniors and, and, I, and I'm not surprised because it's such a big thing for them. Um, I wished absolutely that I could have had these opportunities when I was a young kid. Congratulations to PGA CEO Gavin Kirkman, WPGA Tour of Australasia CEO, 
Karen Lunn and their respective teams for bringing this brilliant tournament concept to life. Returning to tonight's awards, let's unveil the winner of the PGA National Trainee of the Year. This award celebrates the leading PGA trainee in Australia from any year level and considers academic performance, playing results, workplace performance and contribution to the program or industry. Ben Pisani of Royal Melbourne Golf Club was the 2019 winner and he'll have the honours of awarding this year's recipient. It's an absolute privilege, you know, you just go, go to work every day to do the best you can and um, you rip into your golf, you, you try to learn everything you can on the academic side. So to be recognised for, for getting stuck in and doing well at that, uh, it, it, it was great vindication for, for doing a good job. And the winner of the 2020 PGA Trainee of the Year is... Darcy Boyd. It's extremely special uh, to have won an award with Greg Norman's name on it is uh, extremely rewarding. Um, I was put a lot of hard work into this um, last year in the first year of the traineeship and uh, yeah, extremely satisfied to have won the award. I didn't expect it at all. I think it was just a lot of hard work. Um, I'm not to say that I was better than anyone else. Um, I think I just got lucky with winning the award, but probably six, seven days a week, six till six, plenty of uh, practice, full-time work, and then uh, obviously the assignments as well. Being uh, seventh in the plane, I think, and first in the academics, that probably helped. Um, there was a lot of good other candidates. Everyone played quite well, especially at the end of the year, across all states, once the uh, restrictions eased with COVID and we could have some tournaments back. Yeah, I think I was just lucky to, to uh, just slightly edge out a couple of the others. It's a lifestyle that I love, I uh, wouldn't have it any other way. I really do love golf and uh, every aspect of the traineeship is something to do with golf. If you love golf, traineeship's where it's at. I love the coaching aspect of it. Um, just even when you're in the, in the shop working, just seeing the juniors or people you're coaching come in and sort of give you good feedback or ask you questions. Yeah. I just love sharing my knowledge for the well, game. With um, the pot, obviously, like me. I'm only young and it's probably yeah, the nowhere near as much as some of the great right? coaches that we have out there or great players, but oh, um, awesome. yeah, I think I've got a little bit to give back to the that's game. Shot of golf. As I uh, hey, continue coaching and Knuckles evolving again. and all that's that sort awesome, of stuff, buddy. hopefully I uh, grow that knowledge and continue to keep passing it on. There's a few people I'd like to thank. So I started my career at Tookley Golf Club on Central Coast. Um, Trent Whelan had a massive influence on me. He's a PJ member. Then I moved down here to Wollongong where Dave Sard has started coaching me and he does a great job with me. My partner, Danielle, she's been a great support. All my family members and then uh, obviously Titleist, um, Smart Financial and uh, you know, there's so many different categories in the Greg Norman Medal um, that award excellence to um, all the people in our industry and to be on the uh, list with all of the nominees this year and in years past is pretty special. A worthy winner, Darcy Boyd. A superb feat that will hopefully see you achieve all your ambitions in the future. Our club professionals are the cornerstone of the golf industry and the PGA National Club Professional of the Year is awarded to the PGA professional who has excelled in the operation of a pro shop and member services to the members and golfers at their club and within their community. The 2019 winner, Jason Roach, exemplifies all those qualities. It's a privilege to welcome Jason to announce the 2020 award winner. Yeah, it was an incredible honour to become PGA National Club Professional of the Year. Um, I was very honoured and, and humbled uh, to achieve such an award and I believe it was recognition from hard work that myself and the team have gone through and, and with strategies and, and systems we've put in place for the betterment of the game. It's good to be recognised and be acknowledged uh, with such a prestigious award like that because we've all gone through and, and spent a lot of time with study and completing ACE program education, making sure we're up to date with current trends and making sure that we can deliver something that's outstanding and wanting people to come back and continue this great game of golf for the rest of their lives, but also attracting new golfers as well. The nominees for the 2020 PGA National Club Professional of the Year are Tristan McCullum, Head Professional, Seaview Golf Club. Joanne Bannerman, Head Professional, Cumberland Country Club. Alan Patterson, Head Professional, Patterson River Golf Club. Cody Sherratt, Head Professional, Thaxted Park Golf Club. Paul Orchard, Head Professional, Surfers Paradise Golf Club. 
and James Corkle, Head Professional, Mowbray Golf Club. And the winner is Joanne Bannerman from the Cumberland Country Club. Oh, to win the Greg Norman Award is just unbelievable. I'm very happy. It's an honour. It's an honour. I've never been nominated before and it was, uh, it was an honour to be actually nominated and to win the New South Wales and ACT Award and to now win the national one, I was, I was very happy. What sets me apart, probably in the last 18 months or so, I've really started to study a little more, getting some force plates, 3D K vest, video camera, track man. But I think for me, having those type of data, I'm, I'm sure. Um, I'm never guessing, I'm always sure of what's wrong with the student and how to improve their game. I find that people travel far and wide to come for the technology and uh, they are quite interested in it. So I guess every time I um, invest in a new piece of technology, I've got to learn how to use it. So to try and keep on top of the game and try and give my guys that come in the, the better experience. So I'd really like to thank my, um, my family and my friends and my staff. My staff have been amazing. Without them, I would, there's no way I would have been able to win this award. The members here at Cumberland, they've been a great support. I've been here for 16 years. The board of directors at Cumberland Golf Club, they've been uh, really great to work with. And uh, my sponsors, Titleist and Footjoy, they're very good supporters of me. And um, yeah, just everybody. Brilliant job, Joanne. You are a role model to the membership, especially the many female members, which is a growing and valuable sector at the PGA, thanks to people like you. Well done. Congratulations once again to Josh Madden, Mark Tibbles, Richard Woodhouse, Darcy Boyd and Joanne Bannerman. Your achievements tonight further highlight the strength of the PGA membership in Australia. It's an honour to welcome back Greg Norman to present the 2020 Greg Norman Medal. Thank you, Annabelle, and congratulations to all the PGA professionals who received awards this evening. The Greg Norman Medal is determined by a range of criteria, including number of tournament wins, official world rankings, and performances in majors, among a myriad of other considerations. Our nominees, Cameron Smith, Adam Scott, and Minji Lee, have all had remarkable seasons. It's my great pleasure to announce the winner of the 2020 Greg Norman Medal is Cam Smith. We informed Cam of the honor just recently. We organized a WebEx conference call where he thought he was speaking with the PGA of Australia to provide feedback on the tour. Little did Cam know that I was about to award him the Greg Norman Medal. This is how it unfolded. Hello, mate. Hey, mate. How are you? I, I like the global map behind you. Does that tell me you're a global player? <laughs> we did. Well, I'm trying. I can't, I can't at the minute. I don't know why, yeah? Huh? I'm on, the, on this call. I got no idea. I was, I was not nervous at all until Jordan showed up next to me. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> So look, what a crazy year 2020 was, huh, bud? Yeah, yeah, it was. Yeah, no, since from your win at the Sony, then COVID and all that sad stuff, it's saying, uh, and then your performance in the Masters and everything else, your consistency has been unbelievable. And uh, so there is a reason why I'm on this phone. Or on this right. video. And, and that is basically to present to you the Greg Norman Medal. Oh, shit. <laughs> That's awesome. That's unreal. So, right there, oh. Kevin, put on your phone, I was wondering where she went this morning. <laughs> so, buddy, I've been a huge fan of yours. But yeah, you know that for a long, long period of time. I watch just about every tournament you play in. I just love the way you, you, you actually, your tenacity on the golf course. You know, the game of golf is more than just power, but your consistency has been unbelievable. And uh, your performance, obviously, at the Masters was. Yeah, a, a big shining light for everybody, and um, you know, to figure to figure what you went up there and to to, to shoot the scores you did uh, was really really impressive, mate. So, 
it wasn't too hard a decision for me to give the nod to you. And um, you know, I'm just proud of it for you. And I just hope you're just as proud as what uh, how I feel for you. Thanks, mate. Yeah, that's uh, that's epic. I got I got nothing else to say. I mean, I'm speechless. <laughs> I had no idea this is uh, this is going on. Well, good. I'm glad we like to keep surprises. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so anyway, listen, buddy, I know you probably want to say a few things to a few people out there. So, you know, over to you, friends, yeah, family. Uh, I mean, probably Jordan. <laughs> she's all right. <laughs> she's, all right. <laughs> she's, she's, she's taking care of me during the whole thing. Obviously, I haven't been home uh, for a fair while. So uh, all the guys at home, thanks for your support. They know who they are. Uh, yeah. Plug. Jonah, Nick, all the guys, all the guys at home. Ian, uh, miss everyone. I wish I was at home, but uh, yeah, wish I could ever give everyone a hug, but we can't. But yeah, yeah, I know cool. it's, a bit, it's a bit frustrating, isn't it, for us? And a lot of I, mean, I know what I know where we all sit in this crazy world of what's going on with COVID. But you know, the other thing too, you mentioned a lot of people's names there, right? And, and a lot of people don't realize the team we need behind us to make us to allow us to perform to the level that we want to. And and if we don't have that team behind us, and it's, it's a hard yakka, man. It's hard because, you know, it's down to us eventually. Um, but you, if you know you got that support behind you, uh, you know you're going to have a leg up on everybody else. So uh, kudos to you on that one, bud. And I'm proud of you to be the uh, the Greg Norman medal winner for, for this uh, 2020 season, and I hope you repeat in 2021. Thanks, mate. I'll try my best. Thank I know you, you will. I'll, def- I'll definitely be hanging this one up. <laughs> <Seriously>. <laughs> so if you're if you're in Florida, look me up. You got all my details. Are you going to play in Florida? Yep, yep. I'm only up the road. I'm I'm just up in Jacksonville at the moment. So uh, I'll uh, I'll hit you up. I'll be yeah, down. No. There. Give me a holler. I'm here. I'm all not right. going anywhere. My my Saudi trip was just uh, postponed. So. <laughs> <laughs> all right, buddy. Congratulations on winning it. All right. Thanks, mate. Stay safe. Have a good one. All right. You too. See ya. See ya. A well-deserved winner, that's for sure. That's all from us from the Kalara Golf Club for the 2020 Greg Norman Medal. Congratulations once again to Josh Madden, Mark Tibbles, Richard Woodhouse, Darcy Boyd and Joanne Bannerman. And of course, our Greg Norman Medal winner, Cameron Smith. Thank you for joining us. Good night. Good night.